Louis T's the name. Big card hunting is my thing. Today, we are going into our first 2021 NFL Illusions Mega Box. We've done a couple of um, blaster boxes. Eh, mixed results. First blaster box was pretty dope. Got a bunch of rookie quarterbacks. A second blaster box, eh, not so much. So now we're getting into a mega box trying to see if we can unearth a gem or two. Uh, you will find an auto or a memo in this box. Uh, it's rare. And then I just wanted to mention this. As you can see, five cards per pack, seven cards, um, uh, for seven packs per box, five cards per pack for a grand total of 35 cards. It's rare that a mega box has less cards in it than that of a blaster box. The blaster box has six packs. Six cards per pack, 36 cards. This mega box only has 35 cards. That's a little weird to me. This is a little odd. I don't know if anybody else noticed that or not, but rarely does a mega box have less cards than a blaster box. That's not saying much in any event. Uh, you know, it, 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 sometimes you get those mega boxes that have, you know, 60 cards is more of a concentrated hit, whereas a blaster box, uh, a great example would be Donruss. They give you 88 cards, you know, 11 packs, eight cards per pack. And so that's a lot of cards for a blaster box. And then you get, you know, a mega box and it's maybe only 60 cards or so. That's a little different. But this is um, it's it's rare that something that only has 36 cards like the blaster does. This mega box doesn't have 48 or 50 cards in it. So uh, just something that I thought I'd share with you guys that I thought was a little odd. Nonetheless, let's go to get in here. Too much talking, not enough ripping. Uh, I want to thank the stand for its uh Participation in the hunt, my guy Blade Black. Also want to thank him for doing what he always does, which is slicing and dicing and getting us into the plastic so that we can get into the box and get the goodies out and have some fun. So, looking forward to pulling an auto. I've watched some videos where they've gotten redemption, uh, not redemption cards, they've gotten Panini Point cards and they've been so disappointed. Uh, I'm hoping that I don't su uh, suffer the same fate. I, I want my auto, even if it's trash, I want my auto. Please, thank you. Uh, I'll uh, say that in advance. Please and thank you. So, uh, should be seven packs. So, you know, Panini quality control has been terrible of late. Let's count them up and make sure that they didn't jerk us around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're all here, all accounted for. And now we're ready to go on the hunt, on the prowl for that one auto. And hopefully uh, some big time rookie hits. Maybe one of those hollow hero inserts while we're at it. So let's dive in, see what we can unearth. So first of seven packs, see what we can find in this here mega box. So we start the proceedings off with Brandon Ayuk. We then go to Baker Mayfield, Joe Montana, clear shots. Throw that off to the side, DJ Chark base, and a Taysom Hill base. So nothing in pack number one. The Montana clear shots is cool. We won't sleeve it up, but we won't disregard it either. Uh, pack number two of seven, Trey Lance. That's our first Trey Lance hit. We hit a bunch of the other rookie quarterbacks. So here's our auto. Oh, my God. Sam Ellinger. <laughs> here's a, and that is a terrible auto at that, too, just to make things even worse. Sam Ellinger is our auto. Yikes. Sleeve that up. Dak Prescott, Illusionist. Let's sleeve that up. Ramondre Stevenson and Jamison Crowder to finish up pack number two. So pack number two had everything in it, but unfortunately it had nothing in it, if that makes any sense. Oh, man. It had a uh, Trey Lance is probably the base is probably the best. Um, the Dak Prescott, Illusionist, it's, it's, it's cool, but it's not a needle mover. The, the auto, whew, they could have made us wait for that. Yikes, Sam Ellinger, rookie signs. Sheesh, that is terrible. All right, so the auto suspense is gone now. It's just all about the uh, the rest of the box. So chase that hollow heroes. Chase Claypool, Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook again, and we got one of those Dalvin Cook emeralds. You can see that. Throw that off to the side. Yeah, Deami Brown, rookie, and Lamar Jackson. So... Nothing there. Got the Dalvin Cook Emerald. Not numbered, but we'll sleeve it up. All right. On to pack number four of seven. See what we got. Rookie Josh Palmer kicks us off. 
Shining Stars, Travis Etienne, King of Cards, Joe Montana. So this has been a heavy Joe Montana box. Throw that off to the side. Jalen Waddle and Patrick Mahomes are your final two cards of that box. So nothing there. Shining Stars, Travis Etienne didn't even play a single down in his rookie season. I still think he could be a really good player. So we'll sleeve that one up. Um, on to pack five of seven. So three packs remain. Auto already gone. Sam Allinger, yikes. Javante Williams, Matt Ryan, Chase Claypool, Emerald. Put it off to the side. Jalen Hurts and Carson Wentz. So nothing in this pack either. Noteworthy. We'll sleeve up the Chase Claypool Emerald. And get to pack six. See if there's anything in here noteworthy. Super Bowl winning champion quarterback Matthew Stafford kicks us off. Elijah Moore. This is a purple parallel. Don't think it's numbered. None of these have been, and it is not. But it's a rookie, and it's a purple parallel, so we'll throw it off to the side. Another shining star is Travis Etienne. If, as if one wasn't enough, they decided, hey, how about another one? I'm not interested in another one, so thanks, but no thanks. Kadarius Tony and Jalen Darden are your final two. So nothing... In that pack, but the Elijah Moore, who I think is still going to be a stud in this league. Purple Parallel. And now we get to our final pack. Okay, let's see what is inside of this final pack. You got a Zeke Elliott to kick us off. Or, excuse me, that's <laughs> Semi Fioko. Looked like Zeke Elliott. Stefan Diggs. Josh Palmer, rookie, Emerald. Cam Newton. And Derrick Henry. So that was really disappointing, if I may say so myself, just based off the fact that that auto was Sam Ellinger. Now, he did come away with a Trey Lance base, uh, which is probably the best hit of the box, honestly speaking, if we're keeping it a buck with each other. Uh, I'm pretty fond of the Elijah Moore purple parallel, but I mean, outside of that, nothing really noteworthy was done in this hunt so let's go through the damage real quick Elijah Moore purple parallel rookie base Trey Lance rookie base probably the best hit of the box then you get into your emeralds Chase Claypool Dalvin Cook Josh Palmer you get into your acetates Travis Etienne, they gave us two of these. I didn't even want one. Dak Prescott, Illusionist. And then... Wow, 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 wow. Our one auto is of Sam Ellinger. <laughs> oh, man. Mama said they'd be days like this. Mama said, mama said, mama said. All right. So that's going to do it for me, your man, Louis T. I thank you guys for joining me. That was a stinky hunt. <laughs> but I got another one of these mega boxes. So it um, can't do much worse. So I'm, I'm expecting it to do be much better. So you'll see that down the road here on the Card Collector series. But you know what to do. If you enjoy this content, hit the subscribe button for more of it. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of it. And hit the like button as it helps this channel grow exponentially. How's your luck been with illusions? Leave it down in the comment section. Um, it's been hit or miss for me. The first blaster box, awesome. The second blaster box, stinky. Uh, this hunt, not that bad. You know, it could have been better. The auto was tragically bad, uh, but got another base quarterback. So, um, I'm, and what I'm seeing is that they're not coming a dime a dozen, these base quarterbacks. So, uh, I feel good about the ones that I've pulled to this point, but still, um, nothing really noteworthy and nothing needle moving nor game changing nothing that you can mount on the wall after this hunt and that's what i'm always after so a little disappointed from that standpoint but you know it wasn't terrible so anyway that's gonna do it for me your man louis t it's hunting season it never ends especially here on the card collector series you guys know that 
Uh, happy hunting to all of you out there. Hopefully your hunt is way more fruitful than the one I put forth today. Looking forward to chopping it up with you and watching all of your channels as well and seeing if you're having a lot more success than the kid over here. And that, uh, with that said, I'm going to glide to the side and allow you to get back to whatever it was you were doing before we got up with one another. And I look forward to chopping it up with you down in the future so until then you guys take care joseph if you would please do the honors take us home Moody.